All right, back at this Honda. And what we're going to do, here I had this wire right here, going right to the computer. This is the other part of it that's going through the harness. I have it going over here, which is my jumper. Going down there, as I was test driving, uh, it was right down here going directly into that connector. Everything is okay. I tied this up because this is a voltage feed and you don't want it touching the ground. It would blow my fuse. That's what it would do that's inside of this wire. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test this wire or this harness wire. Now this could have been done, but like I said, I was going to change that solenoid anyway. Also, because I thought about the antifreeze, I'm going to try to drain as much out as I can. It didn't seem as if it hurt the transmission. And I'm going to put a transmission cooler on here. Um, and then we'll go from there. But that's about all you could do. Um, but um, I am going to show you how you test this if it had a ground. Um, a short to ground somewhere in the harness short to voltage or if it had an open and I'm gonna do it over here by the computer right over here now we're going to test the harness wire and I have a test light and I am at battery negative which is the ground I am going to touch the positive so now going back over here oh, come on and the wire that I want to deal with this is the one that's going through the harness so what I'm gonna test is a short to positive because I'm I have the test light connected the end of the test light connected to battery ground if this is shorted to positive then this light will come on when I touch this and it's not now something else I'm going to do I'm gonna turn this on maybe there is a positive wire that lights up only when the vehicle is running so let me turn it on so I touched it when it was not running now I'm going to touch this wire with it running and there is no light all right no light which means that this is no short to positive anywhere inside the wire harness okay now I'm gonna turn it off Let's see if it's short to ground. Now, with the short to ground, I'm going to take this. Where is the test light? Take it and put it on positive. Take it over here on battery positive got to have a battery hooked up now let me make sure now I'm going to touch the negative and the light lights up so now anything that's ground let's see let me touch the case see anything that's ground should light up so if this wire is touching anywhere in a wire harness to a ground or somehow touching the body it should light up in the case so where are we let me go over here I touch this wire where are you wire right there uh oh no light so it don't light right there see no light Now, we got the next thing is test for open. So, there's no battery short 
no short to positive, no short to ground. Now, if the wire is open and can't carry a load, you need to do that while it's loaded. So you can load that circuit, and that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to load it with the solenoid. I am just going to load it with the test light. So I'm going to put 12 volts on one end of the wire and then touch the test light and see if the test light lights up. If it lights up, then that means that it can carry a load. This test light going to have a load. A lot of times I had a, a big light, a big light and just let it power that way, but I'll f suffice with the test light. See what happens. <clears throat> let me go and hook it up. Okay, I have my jumper wire at the positive of the battery and is going down there touching the part that's cut on the harness that goes through the harness all the way over there to the computer. So that's a positive, a hot lead there. And I have my test light on ground. Okay, on the ground of the battery. Now, what I'm going to do is bring it over here and I'm going to touch this and see if it lights up and how bright. Lights up pretty bright. Mm -hmm. So it can hold a load. It can hold a load. So that wire can't be bad. Okay. So that would have leave me that if I have a problem again with a solenoid and it's on this wire, that leads me to the computer having an issue. But when I drove it, everything was okay. So there's a good chance that that solenoid was the problem. Now I can put two test lights on here to see if it can carry the load of two test lights and make them both bright. Um, just in case, oh well, maybe that solenoid is drawing more current. Let me see if I got another test light. <laughs> Okay, here's another test light. Let's see what this does. I got the ground on the body. That's real bright. And I am going to bring the other light over. And that lit up too. They're both bright. If I take this off, it doesn't dim dis diminish. Okay, so now this is loading the circuit. I'm loading that wire. And I got voltage going through the wire and it's lighting both test lights. So... That circuit is not bad. All right, so again, as we saw, both test lights were uh, lighting, so it is possible that the solenoid was the problem all along.